one of the things that you really helped me with, I was figuring out my food sensitivities. And within three days of figuring out that I was gluten and dairy sensitive, I was able to um, recover from like three years of, of acid reflux and almost a decade of irritable bowel syndrome. And then I started seeing my, my, all of my gut symptoms improve and then my thyroid markers improve as well. Can you talk about the connection between food sensitivities, um, autoimmune disease, and perhaps some of the tests that you like to use? The problem with uh, food sensitivity is that you do not feel that you are sensitive to some foods. There is no like allergic reaction, uh, real allergic reaction. There is no histamine production. Antihistamines do not work. So uh, problems develop usually, symptoms develop usually maybe next day. So how could you know that the headache that you have is because of a cucumber that you have eaten, you know, yesterday, but not with a weather change or something or something different, right? So that's why uh, I think that people need to be educated that now we have a lot of different food sensitivities, even for organic good foods. Because it's not a question of uh, pesticides. It's a question of our reaction to the uh, proteins that we have in different foods. The problem with autoimmune disorders and Kashimoto's as well is that uh, this type of antibodies that we develop in food sensitivity against these uh, food triggers uh, is the same as we uh, make uh, against our tissues in autoimmune disorders. So we, if you have a trigger that you're eating every day or every other day and it promotes antibody production, it will help, unfortunately, to promote antibody production against your thyroid. So that's why we need to know what exact triggers you have. But if we know to be more accurate and we would like to help more, we need to know what other types of food could be a promoter of this antibody production. And from this point of view, of course, uh, food sensitivity test is very, very helpful. Although the modern, you know, mainstream medicine doesn't accept it.